Now new tonight, a fire takes out an apartment window in West Haven. Fox 61's Brian Didlake has the story. The West Haven fire officials say that their job remains the same, but the way they go about it is changing with a shortage of protective equipment. This apartment complex on Greta Street swarming with first responders after a fourth story apartment caught on fire blowing out the window. Officials say no one was injured and the cause of the flames are still under investigation. But while working, first responders have to worry about something else, COVID-19. Some days it's going to, it's daunting. Uh, we, like everyone else, we're short on PPE and so many equipment we need. But um, for the most part, we're, we're trying to manage the crisis. Like the rest of the state, first responders in West Haven are dealing with a shortage of personal protective equipment while dealing with the public and concerns of being exposed themselves to coronavirus. However, in these high stressed situations where lives are on the line, these firefighters say COVID-19 isn't the first thing on their mind. We're, going, we're doing what we need to do tactically to go and uh, put the fire out and, and make sure that everybody gets out safely. The pandemic, it gets pushed to the back burner on that, uh, that scenario. But once it's over again, we're, we're deconning each other, making sure that uh, we don't have contact with other people. Since the COVID-19 pandemic reached American shores, West Haven fire officials say they take a little more time cleaning equipment and handling each call, whether it's medical or fire, with a little more care. We're used to just operating one way and it's a whole different world today. We got to watch everything we do, every contact we have with the community, uh, like everyone else, distancing, uh, going to work, going home, trying not to get out in the community when you're off, trying to just stay healthy. In neighboring New Haven officials recognizing the risk first responders make offering housing at the University of New Haven. Those are officers that um, have not tested positive for COVID-19. It may be officers that um, are asymptomatic but have been exposed or are concerned uh, about the potential for exposing their family. Do your protection, wash your hands. Everything they're telling you to do is this is not a joke. This is serious. We see it every day. It's amping up every day. West Haven fire officials say going forward, they're going to still follow the guidelines provided by the CDC when it comes to social distancing and still fighting fires. In West Haven, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News.